see if Fatness would like some cereal. No? Oh, she does. She does. She does. <laughs> Just drank a little bit. How are you feeling, Fatness? I've set up this hospital tank for Flower. She went through the surgery just fine and no complications. The vet did a super job as she always does and Flower should be okay. She's a little bit in pain right now. I've got some painkillers for her but that'll only last a few days and then she should start behaving normally again. And then hopefully in about 10 days time stitches can come out and she'll be fully healed. But she's doing actually really well. You can see that's the incision. And she is actually not doing too badly for a little mouse who just had some major surgery. So I've set up the hospital tank for her. It's got a feeding station and a water station. She hasn't really been eating yet, except when I offer her a tiny little bit of peanut butter and I've also offered her some baby cereal. And she ate some of that, but not a lot. She's still feeling a little shocky after the surgery. I think she's drunk some though, because there's a little less water in the bowl. And so I've also added a little hide for her, and some bedding material. She's already had a poop, which is a really good sign. It means that the anaesthetic hasn't um, shut down her digestive system. So that's a really positive sign. Not a happy camper though. It's going to be a few days before she feels okay again. You can see it's quite a big incision. It always ends up being a much bigger incision than you think it would because the tumour underneath the skin is always quite a lot bigger than what you see on the surface. Keeping her separate from the other two so that um, she doesn't become too active. We need her to be relatively non-active for the next little while. I've also added a heater pad so that she has an option to go to a slightly warmer area because after surgery like that shock is always a little bit of a danger and then they become cold and you need to keep them warm. Flower is feeling quite a lot better now. I'm really, really pleased with how things are coming along. She ate some of her porridge earlier on and I've given her some new porridge and food and water. She drank some of her water. She's been pooping a lot so everything's moving through. She's becoming increasingly more active even though she's still a little bit uncomfortable. Give her my hand, she usually hops right in, which means she wants me to pick her up. She's got only three feet, one says four feet, and then I'll lift up. And she decided no. Oh, is she gonna? Is she gonna go up? I basically, if she puts four feet on my hand, then I lift up. But right now it's three feet, there now it's four feet. So now we lift her up. And she desperately wants to be free, but she can't. Nori wants to say hi. Nori says hi, but I can't. Basically, I have to, for the next few days, she's going to have to be very inactive. Just to make sure that it, oh, Nori really wants to be with me. No, 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 no. I know you want to be free, but you're not ready to be free yet. <laughs> Nora. Okay, I've got to put her back. Sorry, little girl, girl. In you go. Tomorrow we'll have to start giving her Metacam, which is a anti-inflammatory and sort of acts like a painkiller. She had one just before surgery, but I'll have to give them to her for four days in a row. And then for around ten days she'll be getting um, antibiotics, just to be on the safe side. And she's doing... Very well for little Marcy that just had some surgery and lost quite a lot of blood and otherwise pretty stressed, but doing well. Doesn't like being stuck in a little tiny hospital tank, but that's life. Just for a few days. So hopefully things will continue this well for my sweet little flower. She's washing herself a lot, but she isn't irritating the stitches, so I'm very happy about that. Really pleased.